<laughs> okay, uh, fuck. Everybody, uh, this is gonna be a, like a, a super quick getting stuff done thing. Were you excited? Wait, is there a rat there? Oh my god! It's Luigi. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass. Did we say super quick episode? And just a fast town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned the dent ring into an art form on that little quest. <laughs> it was pretty nutty, bro. When you heard it happen, it's a pretty long story. Yeah. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? This is why Just we caught up. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, <laughs> but here it goes. As soon as we hit Jezefra's town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very li lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for a place for uh, the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't since we were looking for the compass part, you know. <laughs> but Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Lama Pla- uh, Drama- Drama Lama, Lama Plaque Night. Night. In fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try. So we rehearsed <laughs> with the cast and hit the stage. Well, I mean, we had to. Our musical was- uh, Our musical was The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Make paper Luigi. Also, a little, little note, because I know we're going to notice this before, yeah. Aubrey's the only partner in the game who doesn't, doesn't fall sleep. asleep during Luigi's stories. Aww. Wait, can he, does he sleep? Like, if, if like, he, he has sleeping animations in the game. But like, he, if, if you stay still for like 10 minutes while he falls I asleep. I don't think he does, no. Huh. He just listens to the story. Wait, no, his, his... His, his wheel isn't moving. Yeah, but I know that that's a thing. Like, I, I know, like... I don't know why he's completely frozen right now, but I know that it's a thing that no, that he doesn't fall asleep during the stories. Interesting. Yeah. I had counted it as he's able to listen to long shit. Yeah, he just likes right listening to stories. Yeah. He's he's an older guy. He like he likes a good story. In reality, they probably did not program his sleep animations for this. That's okay. That's okay. The script was great, bro, and I got really ho. Uh, but I got really hoes, bro. My role, my part. Was grass! I played grass by the side of the road! Grass, bro! Grass! <laughs> I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everybody but me had lights! <laughs> I don't care if I was wearing green or cast someone based on that! It was awful! <laughs> In the end, the musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam! I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge adult party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. <laughs> But wow! Outside were tons of fans! My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me! I just couldn't believe it! Imagine! Cheering for grass! I was ecstatic, bro! After that, I added the piece to the marvelous compass, which pointed north! It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me! I will be grass for you. <laughs> I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Oh. Wow. Yeah, sorry about that, bro. Um, uh, so, yeah, anyway, uh, then I got back on my boat. <laughs> Came back to Roadport, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor. One of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to, to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be the grass. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> That's the only character that likes Luigi. As grass. Yeah, as as grass. <laughs> of course, Luigi I will be the grass. Red Miracle, and you will say fucking nothing. <laughs> What's our email? We got an email. What shit? <laughs> Road for today. Uh, Gomez, age 40, known for napping in the flowers at the West, pa uh, West Side Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. As for uh, as for comment, Gomez stated, Gumez. Well, I just really, really love flowers, and I was hanging out, and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Citizens of Roadport responded with dis uh, with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conser the conservation efforts. <laughs> Shop reporters go. This time we introduce the Twilight Shop. Watching the husband and wife uh, uh, proprietors of the shop at work is a heartwarming sight, but don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife, says the, jo uh, the jovially jealous <laughs> shopkeeper. 
I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth aren't gonna change that! <laughs> well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We pressed the shopkeeper for further comment, but, re uh, but regret that his words are unprofitable here. <laughs> but we did learn from the, uh, from the little misses that there will be a double point sale for uh, for all RDM readers. Just show the, uh, show her, just show her this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points for any purchase. Huh. All right, my little rookies, we're on to an intermediate level of recipe today. The dish is a healthy salad. Just slice up a turtley leaf and a horsetail, mix them together, and you're done. Great for dieters. That's all for today, but check your mailbox soon for another exciting issue. I, I fucking, I fucking love that we're reading every one of these. Short episode. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Five minutes later. Shut the fuck up! Uh, so there's a I, couple I of- Gomez. That's just a yeah, good man. name. That's like Gomez, but yeah. Gomez. Good. Gomez. Good. Anyway. So, uh, but- Oh! What <laughs> impeccable timing! Yes, this was destined. <laughs> when I consulted my star charts, I saw a, port a potential sight for you, Mario. Hmm. I went thusly. Wait. It went thusly. <laughs> In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. <laughs> but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> so, yeah, he's not in a waking nightmare about this one, but, uh, oh, hi, Bobbery, welcome back to your house. Uh -huh. Um, <clears throat> We're gonna go do that. We're gonna go figure out what that means. But Before first we're gonna check out another side. Another quest. thing! Oh, boy. I'm sure a lot of them, huh? I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogue in Rogueput Square. This uh, poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. <laughs> Wanna take on the trouble? Do it and do it right! Ah, oh, fuck. What did I make him sound like? I don't remember if that was the voice that I gave. <clears throat> but it's all good. Du -du -du. I am 30! Hello! I, I am 30! Oh, wait, no, no, it's not 50! Oh, now I knew who that character was. Oops. Oh, Toadsworth. Yeah. I wonder what You're still in this game. Yeah. <laughs> sure is. Aw, there she is. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Hmm. I'm a pretty lucky girl if you, to have such a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to, right to it, okay? I've done all I can, can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. Of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that, that to find the badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it. Okay, sweetie. Look yep. for it. <laughs> okay, look for it. Oh, Bye. man. Yeah. She introduced herself, right? What was that? Yeah, she, she introduced yeah, herself okay. Miss Mouse. That's, uh, yeah, I'm Miss Mouse. Graffiti Corner. Sometimes I think I'd be better off never not ever speaking. I wish I was still a pig. <laughs> Morbidly <laughs> depressed while <laughs> here. <laughs> Morbidly depressed. <laughs> oh no! This game is very, very good. Yes. Holy yes, shit. Yes, it is. Oh my god, we there's so, so many fucking small... Cut the hotel guys. Yeah, okay. We go into the house that I find behind this pipe. I will go into it. Okay. What, what even is your name? Who are you? Uh, the, the bucket. <laughs> You've come quite a ways. Uh -oh. This is Chatteripo's adjustment house. <laughs> if you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. Price 39. So, who needs some adjustments, hmm? Well, come again! <laughs> That's Chet Rippo. <laughs> forgot he was in this game. Yeah, I did and he too. He also forgot he looked completely fucking different. Yeah, in this he's game. not a giant not for fucking fuck's sake! elephant person. <sighs> what? 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 One more thing. Okay. Oh, hello! We can go through there now. Uh, okay. Not yet. Oh, uh, you don't want to go there yet? <laughs> no, it's okay! Fuck! No! No, we'll do it! Okay. You look so sad. Okay. I love this place. Yeah. It looks so cool. Yeah. People are just living down here. This is just like... Doesn't seem to open. Huh. Okay. All right, cool. There's a shop back there where I wonder if they sell really expensive ultra shrooms. This is... This is so cool. Yeah, man. I just love 
that they're in here. We, oh, I mean, we do need to buy the one. Okay. We do. Mm. I mean, is, is this is this mm. where uh, where fucking Vandy Andy sold his shit to? I like to imagine there's only one Ultra Shroom for sale, and they were just like, yeah, it's a guy from the Glitz Pit just gave it to us. Who cares? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! <laughs> My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you with my badges for them. Yay! Come on, let's trade. What badge do you want? Uh, Mario's happy about it, so fuck it. <laughs> happy heart. I think a peekaboo. Uh, but it's fun to tattle. Okay, yeah, also get peekaboo. Uh, I. Uh, oh, this is really all he sells, huh? Okay. Huh. He kind of looks like Dementio. Uh, yeah, he does. I'll trade to Pikachu. Uh, too bad, too BP for sweet, sweet star piece. I okay, guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> for a sweet star. Uh, hey guy. Happy heart, of course. Hey guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. guy. Uh, give me the pieces. <laughs> okay, guy. Give me the pieces. Give me your money. Give me your money. Do I even have? Do we even have BP to equip those? I fucking hope we do. For happy heart, we don't need ice power. Holy shit. Uh. Oh, we already <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Fuck, fuck you. Fucking cut to it. Do we need another one? <laughs> hey! Fuck we, you. We need happy heart! <laughs> Alright, we're, we're upgrading BP next just for that. You can fuck yourself. There's so much <laughs> better badges than fucking happy heart. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I love the minion cafes. And that's like no part of the game. There's no, like there's four like the, of them in the entire there is, game. There is actually no reason to ever go to them, uh -huh. except for the fact that it's just nice. Yeah, exactly. Although, God, am I am I so upset. Remember the one by uh, the, rain, the Rainbow Hot Spring? Yeah. Spring of Rainbows? Um, apparently, if you refuse the, the black coffee, um, you get a better... A better cutscene. Yeah. Which is very, very good. You get one with uh get this, Birdo shows up for the second time in the game, which never happens. She only ever shows up once. Oh, oh what? Okay. It's, it's unclear, unclear what this team. means, so you should ask someone. That's just oh. a badge from Bug Fables, dude. Which means you go up or... No, it's just the up arrow from Thousand Year Door. Yes. <laughs> when we get to that badge in Bug Fables, I'm gonna go, no, that's just the up arrow from Thousand Year Door. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fuck up! I think that gives Leaf a spell to like, you know, up someone's attack. Neat. Oh, uh, mmm, yummy! I can't believe you didn't use Monkey on Peach's castle. <laughs> I will never. I can't. I, I can't believe that. Like, not only that I forgot, but also that it meant that much to you. <laughs> I will. Never forgive you. I just, I, mean, I was like, oh, oh, we're at the end of the game. I need to beat the game. And then, uh, no, uh, I just, I just went through. Is Hooktail still gonna be here? We fucking killed Hooktail. Yeah, is she, is her corpse going to be here? Oh, uh, that's a good point. Because, like, I, can I just say, that's something I love in games. Yep. Is if you're fighting something and you kill it and its corpse is still there. Uh -huh. And you can just like, the, the best example of that, that I know, is He's Welder. Is Frozen G G Junior Troopa from the original. Also that, yes. But he doesn't last forever. Welder stays there and he's like, yeah, I guess I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. uh, well. What, do you, what have you got going on, man? Well, I guess, uh. <laughs> I guess, uh. This could have been avoided now yeah. that I think about it. Oh, hello. What? Use the wind. Oh, it's just right there, huh? You think she knew about that? Huh. Okay. Take it to her. Oh, I was gonna take it to oh, her. See what it does? Oh, is it, it gonna be an important thing? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Never mind huh. that. <laughs> you, future case, you'll see that. So I, I walked into the room, got on champ to go fast, uh -huh. was walking, and just immediately hit in the face by a paratrooper. <laughs> <laughs> it was like so direct, and the fact that it was a paratrooper, so it came from the sky. Yeah. Was like, so that, there you go. I've explained why it's funny. You know, I'm blowing up this roof anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that face doesn't mean you found the badge. Well, this is certainly the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes! <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. 
You may have eaten more badge... You... <clears throat> you may have even more badge-finding skill than I do. Hmm. Hmm. I just thought of something. Perhaps I should travel with you from now on. Because <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now, about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. <laughs> now, let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Aww. I thought for a second she was going to say that you will now join me on my adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Mouse! We got her! She's so cool! She's really cute! Oh my god. The little tail's a heart. A primer. Press X to use Miss Mouse. Doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff around to tell you if there's any items nearby. <laughs> <laughs> there's something right near here, sweetie. If there's something nearby, I'll let you know like I did just now. Awesome. Okay. This is so cool. Yeah, man. I like Ms. Mouse. Because I never got her until you later. You trouble. Aww. Man, of course there's something right here. <laughs> All right. Uh, to Merlin. To Merlin. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, what would you like to power up? Oh. Return Sunday. <laughs> Return Sunday. <laughs> What's this? An albedo? <laughs> hmm? An up arrow? <laughs> up. Of course! <laughs> up. Oh. That's my favorite Pixar film! <laughs> Wait, what is he? Is he getting something from his fucking- God damn it! God damn it! This is the Ultra Stone! So that is what the star sign meant! I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot I was in the attic! <laughs> With this, I can power up your partners even more! Let me just take that and uh, just, uh, <laughs> throw this on top of here and uh, the, 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 the magic, and yes, there we go, it's red now! And we are cooking now! Let me know when you want me to power up your partners more! So what were you getting at? An up arrow? <laughs> so what, okay, okay. Okay, yes, the up arrow told him that it was up in his attic. Sure, that's fucking hilarious. That is very funny. Mm -hmm. Why did someone hide an up arrow in a, a, and, and how do they know that that would be significant? And what the fuck is Merlin's brain on that it, tell, it told him to tell Mario to go to this place and get something that would only mean up? Answer. And nothing else. Answers. Yeah. First, his brain is on whatever the fuck is fuming over here. Yeah. On the incense here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, second, I would now like to head cannon. Yeah. I don't know who found the arrow. Uh huh. You but whoever. Hit it? No. <laughs> yes. I would like to admit I saved the arrow there. <laughs> it's a game of mine, you see. I'll now be joining you on your adventure. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be down. Anyway. For Merlin, yeah. yeah. Uh. I would like to headcanon that whoever did found... Have you any other errands? Yes. Whoever did find it. Whoever did find the arrow didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> so they're like, what the fuck am I... It's it... <laughs> okay. And they just Left put it there. it there. Yeah. Well, for, but, but for whatever reason, it's really well hidden. But so the thing is, is that that arrow's purpose? Is to signal Merlin thing, that it's up thing there? Is, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think so. it's just, uh, I an literally think it's yeah. just an up arrow. Yeah. That so, so who do we want to upgrade? I would suggest, honestly, yeah. upgrading Bobbery again. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Because he has the best. That's what we did last time, right? Yeah. His second upgrade is like the best attack. It, it's the best. It's the best attack? It's the best partner attack in the game. Holy shit, it all right. It attacks everything and does like nine damage okay it's really good that's great nine yeah. damage is fucking plus fantastic. also he has the highest health of any partner in the game so that's very useful that's true so he has more health than we do right now <laughs> oh my god you're right he has 40 yeah holy so, shit uh but like on the we're gonna get all the fucking same as the first game we're gonna get all the shine sprites and we're gonna fully upgrade everyone that's why i made us go back and get that fucking terrible stupid one uh -huh. in the in the, the, the forest. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. anyway, next time we're on, right. we'll go to the next chapter. We'll be at the door. Don't Sounds worry. Good. See you guys then. <laughs> Goodbye and good luck on your travel. Goodbye and good game. Good fucking goddamn it, Miss Mouse.